Welcome back to Monday Mukbang. No. So, <clears throat> we just posted last Tuesday our taste test of the uh, Tofurky Vegetarian Ham Style Roast. And now, we just filmed it actually, but it was posted last week. So here's the box for the Tofurky Ham. Um, if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch it, but it is very tasty. It is very, very good. So we're actually eating dinner now, and we are eating, um, we've got the tofurkey ham, mashed potatoes, and corn. This is going to be our dinner. And Neil has a plate full over here as well. Yep. Uh, Nicholas is actually sitting right off screen, and he ate some as well, and John's actually in the kitchen behind the camera. He had some as well. So this is going to be our dinner today. Now, I don't, know, I don't know if we've said this before, but this is my mother's favorite dish, is ham, ham, potatoes, corn. She loves these dishes. I think this, I think... And now that I haven't really been eating meat, I have just been eating mashed potatoes and corn. But this is actually really good. If you have not seen that taste test video, go back and watch it. Um, spoiler alert, I guess if you don't want to watch it, it is very good. So we decided to eat this for dinner. Yeah, I, um, I will say off the bat, it's very good. it does blend well. It does. I mm -hmm. will say it. It's not. I know usually some of the meats that we've had, um, whether it be burgers, chicken, or something like that, or really some of the other meats, um, that kind of distinct flavor they have will lose. Will sometimes be lost in terms of being mixed with something, whether it's a condiment like. Um, Ketchup like or ketchup, mustard ketchup or, or mustard, um, whether it be to a sauce or gravy. But I don't think this uh, this loses too much flavor. Um, no, it's it's actually really good. Yeah, I think it definitely stands out between between being mixed with potatoes and corn. Unless of course you're not, unless of course you're putting tons of potatoes on it or corn on it that you can't really taste it at I'm all. Good. So, um, but I think it really does keep its flavor mixed in with a bunch of other the other stuff we have here. Do you want a napkin? <clears throat> so, we weren't just going to eat dinner off camera, and Neil's like, well, why don't we just film before a mukbang? So we didn't really have a topic scheduled for tonight or planned for this video. You're just eating. Yeah, we're just eating. We're shooting in the wind. So we figured we'd just naturally talk. I know some people, when they do mukbangs or film mukbangs, they just have like a conversation. <clears throat> Which we've done before as well, but we do try to have a topic. Um, we've gotten some different comments. Like some people like to have just conversations, some people prefer the topic. I don't know. I think traditionally mukbangs are supposed to be conversational. So like if you're sitting at home watching this video and, and you're living alone or whatever, you're eating dinner alone because your significant other or your children are off doing sports or activities or working or whatever, and a lot of people work different shifts, you know, you might be home alone and you film, you uh, like look up a mukbang so you can eat along with other people. I will say the whole, the topic aspect, because it's been something from day one that we've, when we've started doing the mukbangs that we always usually had a topic. Mm -hmm. Of course, recently we've kind of differentiated with just talking because um, I think, you know, there can be a little bit of change to some of the videos we do. But I think topic really helps with that sort of, like, you know, you, you, you're eating and you don't really know what you what to really do. You know, you want to pull something to entertain. Having a video where other people are eating along with you and having a topic that you may have a certain, you, you may have your own kind of look at. You know, it kind of, it, it, it kind of, brings more to the table, I would, I would say. It kind of, you know, it, it's a shared experience. I know, of course, you can't say it, you can't say I have say no it. idea what you're talking about right now. You can't give your take on the topic that we're talking uh, about at, in the video, but of course, as we said, as we say before, you can always leave a comment down below whether on, on, your, on your whole point of the topic and how you feel about it. But I think, I think the topic really helps in that sort of situation where you know, it, it gives you something to really watch. You know, you're, you're listening to something, and with the, source, the topic sort of situated, 
this topic sort of situated. It helps. It helps you make your mind go to something, Ooh. and you're not, you know you're not jambled with what you've done that day or what you're what you have to worry about. It really clears your mind and gives you something to think about. Let's talk about what we did today. <laughs> Irony, isn't it? Irony. <laughs> Hmm. Well, <clears throat> I'll say this. This video is probably going to post somewhere around close to our two-year anniversary of doing uh, Omni's Medium. <clears throat> we started in March of 2018, or 2016, I'm sorry. Uh, that's been, that was a long time ago. It was two years ago. Um, so, you know, this is, this is close to two years that we've been doing this channel. <laughs> That was 16. If you go back to some of those early videos and look at Neil and Nick. Something happened. They look totally different. <clears throat> I don't know what happened, but something happened. You got old. I yeah, I'm getting too old for this uh, stuff. I did not got not even close to be old yet. So. Thank you, side commentary. So, yeah. So, so I'm not look, side commentary. So they look, uh, they look quite different if you go back two years and look at our first videos. Yeah, my hair got longer. I mean, even John and I look different. <clears throat> I know none of you saw, but she, he just gave a like a, like a double take, like what? What was she talking? Oh yeah, John and I look different too. <clears throat> He's not gonna admit it though. So, <laughs> I don't know. We had a comment here recently <clears throat> that someone said that they were trying to figure out our motive for doing this. And <clears throat> I think we've talked about it before. We get a little bit of insight. I think we I think we all have our different motives for doing this. Mm -hmm. I think um But well I mean like I I was the impetus to start this channel. Yeah. I was. <clears throat> and Honestly, the reason that I wanted to start this is because I was curious. I was curious. I was curious what vegan food was. And I was, I mean, obviously I understand fruits, vegetables, that's great. But we started as a taste test and a cooking channel. We still do the taste test. It's still our most viewed videos. We don't do cooking anymore because quite honestly, not a lot of people really watch the videos. I don't know why. We never really got many comments on them to let us know why we weren't doing, like, you know, people weren't watching them, but. And I think we're from a little bit on, on, on what to really make in that sort of situation. At least well, from my point of view, I, I, it felt that there's a little more of what, what, there's a more of a question of what we can do next. What we were doing was we were using we were having a taste test video and then have a compa uh, companion cooking video on Thursday. So like thinking back to when we first taste tested cheesecakes, um, well that one was a little bit different. But like milk, like well, I think well, one of our we first- did, We did, we, we made our own homemade milk. Yeah, one of our first videos was milk and we made our own homemade milk. Oh. Bacon, we did, we tried vegan bacon and then we made our own bacon. Um, but yeah, I mean back to the original statement was that somebody asked what was our what was our angle what were we trying to do accomplish here and really I, I wanted to document my curiosity of vegan foods for other people who might be curious about vegan foods like they're still like especially now the vegan community is growing by leaps and bounds no honey you can't have this get down um and it's just expanding every day in products, in uh, just in our culture. It's expanding not only in the U.S., but in, in other countries. I mean, I think Germany is like leading the charge for veganism right now. They have a lot of, of vegans in Germany. And there are a lot of people who are curious about these vegan foods, like these vegan foods, not necessarily fruits and vegetables. I mean, that's just a, a no-brainer, but... Um, that's why we we sort of I sort of wanted to film this and put it out on YouTube and be there as a channel that was pretty comprehensively taste testing from the perspective of an omnivore 
for people who are in the midst of transitioning. Um, or, want, or wanting to replace. Or yeah, even just replacing one thing. Our most viewed video in our entire channel remains our very first taste test video that we posted two years ago. We posted a um, non-dairy milk video. And that to this day is still our number one viewed video. And if I had known that, I probably would have done things a little bit differently and um, the quality of that video might have been a little bit better. You would have seen three, three milk videos. We would have but, done all our power to do three milk videos in repetition. But yeah, so uh, I mean, people find us and that's what they, I guess pe a lot of people are curious about non-dairy milk and that's what they find and that's our most viewed video. I, I, I think there's a good reasoning behind that. Um, I, I think really milk is uh, next to me, one of the more one of the more question on how, uh, what it is one of the more pioneering vegan foods because well, a lot of people are becoming lactose intolerant. Yes, and I think that's why, and I think that's which more we of a, are. We don't drink we don't drink regular milk. Yeah, at all. I being growing, grow, getting older, I've I've learned to be a little more. I, I've have a little more uh, intolerance for milk. Um, and so I, I do drink, I, I don't, I don't, I don't actually remember the last time I drank milk, regular milk. It's been a long time. It's been, yeah, it has been a while. Um, but uh, since then I have been doing a lot more with almond milk, uh, almond, what was it, uh, what's the one we have? Almond, almond, not almond joy, almond silver. I forget the brand what it is. I forget the brand of almond milk that we usually get. It's, um. Almond Breeze? Almond Breeze. That's what it is. I couldn't think of it. I was thinking of, of the regular mm -hmm. almond company and then I was thinking of other things, of almond related things. But uh, I, I definitely, we have, de that's really been our number one brand in terms of what we're drink, uh, dr drink in terms of like milks or using cooking. Other than that, I know we do get uh, on occasion the silk products, uh -huh. but I definitely think milk is probably the, one of the number one foods that people are looking to replace because of lactose intolerant because um, re I think the more available products of vegan milks are becoming higher and more in, in more diverse than the milk that than the usual non vegan milk that is being produced today. Uh, next to that isn't it is I would say meats and I, and I know our channel has been littered with a number of different meats. I mean, we're eating. Mm -hmm. We just, I mean, we just did one, and we're doing a mukbang about it. And I think, out of anything, like our our vegan hot dog one is a highly viewed one, and cheeses too. I I was gonna get the cheese as well. Uh, I, I think really, I, I don't want to go on a tangent about the whole thing, but I think to really go back to the motive about it, um, <clears throat> being 16 when we started this channel, <sighs> feels. Yes, you feel old. I feel old now. Usually, I was going. I already felt old, but now I feel even older. Um, being 16 when this channel first started, I didn't know really what to think. I was just kind of going along with the motion. I think really halfway through that year one, I started to really get into this kind of doing these videos. Um, I think a lot no. of. I think a number of videos you can really point out no. um, that my kind of attitude changed mm -hmm. with the videos going forward. And I mean, I I really like doing them. I know. I mean, Nick I, really likes being on camera as well. Yeah, I won't. And yes, we've had our share of foods that we don't like or we haven't really enjoyed. But I think really it has surprised me in a sort of sense on how many of these foods I am willing to try and get again, willing to eat again. Um, hey, you've really gotten into like hummus. Yes, I really. I don't know that you've ever, you ever, ever ate hummus before. I, I had not, and and you love hummus. Now. Getting, getting into mm -hmm. like the different flavors of hummus, I really have enjoyed them. I think, and just, just I think probably meats it had been the most surprising. Milks, I already kind of, I kind of had to understand there was different kinds of milks. Uh, I had never really ever tried them. I had never had tried them at the time when we started this channel, mm -hmm. but I knew that there was different kinds of like milks that were not dairy. But I think really meats have surprised me the most because I mean I just look at how many burger burger videos we have and how just how, how many options there are. Yeah, how many options there are and just 
usually it's me or my father or even both of us in those videos taste testing them because that's that it's it, burgers are probably one of the number one things I will eat it's one of the things I first really go to if I'm hungry or a lunch meat which and we've had plenty of lunch meats and I think really Being lunch meats really are not very good they're all, they, yeah they're all right um but I think really burgers have been the most thing things that have surprised me the most um Still not, we've still haven't found that many cheeses, which I'm still surprised that there hasn't been a lot more cheese, the push for cheeses. I think the problem is more the availability. I think so, I, I would agree that. Because I've seen a lot more cheeses out there that we just can't get in our area. Okay. I mean, the chow cheese, I posted a, a What I Ate Today a couple weeks ago, and I had a grilled cheese sandwich with chow cheese, and I was so excited because our Walmart finally carried chow cheese. Just the regular kind, not the three different ones. I know just the creamy original, but we didn't have it in there. Like we don't live in a very big town, and our Walmart has some vegan products, but it's pretty much like ice cream and milk. Yeah, and that's pretty much it. And I was so shocked to see because I every time we go in there, I look for vegan products because we're always on the lookout for something else to do for a taste test video. I mean, I, honestly, I never thought in a million years that we would have two years worth of taste test videos. And we post every single week, yeah. other than the week of Christmas for, for the last two years, we post every single week. So we have over a hundred taste test videos on our channel. Hours of our lives. I, I would have never known that there were that many over the counter, like packaged vegan foods for us to actually taste test. And that was, that's been like a, an amazing journey. And we have many more. Like we, we usually, especially like taste test videos, we will film a bunch in a, in a day. I mean, I'm sure that none of you guys out there think we, Post, we record every taste test video every single week because that just we, it, it takes time it takes planning and we don't go to the grocery store every single week you know um, we might run in to get something like John's a teacher so he gets home from school at about 3 30 3 45 so he'll like run to the grocery store and buy something and come home and make it not every day but every once in a while if he wants something specific specific like I don't think we had potatoes in the house because we ate them all. So I think probably today I'm looking over at him over there in the kitchen. I think probably today he had to run down to the grocery store. He's, he's giving we me did. a thumbs up to get the potatoes because I wanted to have mashed potatoes for dinner. Um, so, but I think that's probably the only thing he bought was was the potatoes or maybe potatoes and one other thing or something because coffee. 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 He bought potatoes and coffee. So you know that that's just you know that's. That's kind of like how we grocery shop. We will like every other week do a big grocery trip. But typically, and we'll try to buy a lot, a lot of stuff then, but especially when we do vegan, like a lot of times we'll go, we'll take a special trip to Trader Joe's or special trips to Whole Foods. Um, I'm actually very excited. There's, they're opening a new Whole Foods that is only about 45 minutes away from us. Yay! So that's going to be good. Not an hour and 45 minutes <laughs> and away. Not an hour and a half. Trader Joe's is still an hour and a half away. Oh. But our little parkour expert here is getting her way up here. Um, but the Whole Foods now they're gonna have only about 45 minutes away, which is awesome because, like I said, my favorite mock meat is the 365 brand chickenless chicken. Yeah, they're definitely one of the one of the grocery stores that are really trying to improve having a bigger vegan selection. Yeah. Um, so I was very excited to find find that find the chow cheese, especially but, in a in a. And a, I got off a, on a tangent. A, sorry. And definitely a superstore like Walmart yeah. having something like that. It definitely it shows improvement in terms but, of those kind of places having them. Yeah, but I'm sorry, real quick, before before I, I no get out of here, um, the availability of other cheeses in our area is not real great. The Wegmans near us, which is about 20 minutes away or so, the Wegmans near us has has is, is actually leading the charge in this area. I, yep. They brought in the Miyoko's, no one else sells Miyoko's in this area. Um, they brought in like the Heidi Ho cheeses and the Kite Hill cheese. I think it's Kite Hill cheeses. Yes. Yeah. John's giving me a thumbs up. Um, whereas the other grocery stores in this area, like I said, the Chow cheese now is in Walmart. It's not in our giant stores. Yeah, slow, slow, slow progress. But that's why I think we haven't really had that many cheese videos. I'd like to do a Miyoko's cheese taste test, but Miyoko's cheese is very expensive. 
So your, your, and dad's, we, and we your still, dad's been a little bit hesitant to do the Miyoko's. And we, st and we still use Miyoko's butter on occasion. We do use Miyoko's butter that because it's delicious. the best. It's delicious. Um, I, and I will, I, I think other than those three, yeah, but I think other than those three, I think definitely have been a good um, really turnaround motive. Being on it's pretty much almost two years now. It's been two years since we started. I think definitely the motive for doing these videos have definitely turned from from well, let's see what's going, let's see what's going on to what's next. At least for me. Um, it's, or what's it, for dinner. <laughs> that too. Because uh, especially since we've been doing what I ate in a day. So yeah. Uh, butter. Uh, I, and I think it, it, the motive's really changed, at least in my opinion. And I don't know if I can't. I don't know. Mother has really given a little more of an insight to hers. Um, being the word of the two people on the video, I can't really see, speak to the other two guys, but uh, I, I definitely think that the motive has switched to being let's see what's there to what's next because they, every time, every time it's kind of it's really surprising. Um, I will say probably the the mo the the surprising ones have definitely been me, but I think. The other thing that's really been more interesting, an interesting look into like, is like snacks. Cause I think other than... Well, we eat a lot of snacks in this house. Yes, and I, and, and... I don't so much. I'm very much the breakfast, lunch, dinner. But these three guys are, are, are very much snackers. And I definitely think that's, that's definitely, uh, maybe not the interesting point to people changing from omnivore state or carnivore state to vegan state. But I, I, it's definitely been a very really, uh, surprise for me because we've I I don't think we've ever really come across a snack that we dislike that's been vegan. I think all of them have been great and all of them have been really surprising in the way they kind of do it. Um, I think what was it? We had pop, wasn't it popcorn? No, mm -hmm. yeah, popcorn. I think the popcorn one. I forget the name or the brand of it, but that one is probably the most surprising just the because. Boom chicka pop, maybe. Yeah, yeah, or boom chicka pop was a smart pop. Trying to, or no, the snack video where we had like the pr uh, crackers. Oh, you're talking about the Earth Balance one? I think it's Earth Balance. I can't remember the There promise. was an Earth Balance snack that I have yet to find again. We got it off of Thrive Market and Thrive doesn't carry it anymore. Um, Earth Balance does, I think it's Earth Balance. If I can find it, I'll put a picture right here. Peanut butter popcorn. Oh my god. Peeny Pops. Peeny, yeah, okay. And I, that was really good. And but that, I don't know that they sell it anymore. And I have to say, out of like most of the snacks, that like, it was surprising in terms of just the product that it was, and also how it really tasted. Good. And it tasted really, it was really good product. And I think that was at least kind of more of, I guess, an update video because I know we've done a video of like our favorite products we tasted, and I know I said that in that video, but that's probably been the most surprising of like vegan snack snacks or vegan foods and then it's, um I, I i but to go back to the motive thing um it's definitely been what is next and i gotta say i'm i'm excited for the future who knows who knows what will happen next maybe we'll get five more different burgers maybe we'll have a fourth we'll have a fourth or fifth burger video however many we have those we'll have more milks milk. i from milk. from we want milk from what my mother's stating, we have cheeses that we have yet to taste that mm -hmm. there's abundant of, which honestly I, I hope I hope to see because um, I really like I, I really like Chow's. Uh, I'd love to see Miyoko's because Miyoko just really it's really surprised. We're gonna do a Miyoko's cheese at some point. Probably. Leave a comment in the comment section down below if you want us to do a Miyoko's cheeses, <laughs> so I can convince John that we're gonna do it. <laughs> and, and, and just doing some of the mukbang. I, Cause I like, I enjoy the mukbangs. Probably of the, all the videos, I've really come to really like the mukbangs. Um, because it just kind of brings a topic to the table and you're eating a meal. I, I eating a meal and talking. And I always love that. I love talking. I like talking. I like talking and I like eating. So it brings two, two, two things together. Mm -hmm. And no matter what the topic, I always try and find something interesting to say or something insightful to say about the topic. But, um, I think I'm done eating. Uh, I think we've really, really, uh, really knocked it up this, this mukbang. Yeah, Neil finished his entire plate. I ate 
about two thirds of mine. And what's interesting about my plate, which I really noticed it halfway through, I wasn't being cognizant of it, but about halfway through eating my plate, I realized that I was really gravitating towards the, the corn and mashed potatoes and not really eating a lot of the ham, um, which to me was like kind of weird. Like, because I, when I used to eat this meal with real ham, um, I would have a bite of ham, a bite of mashed potatoes, a bite of corn, all in one bite. And it would be like, it be the same thing every single time. But this time when I'm eating oops, it, oops. I'm re I was really gravitating towards the mashed potatoes and corn. Not, not because this wasn't good. This Butter. was good. And this tastes like ham. Like if you go back and look at our taste list video, it is very realistic. Um, so it's not that it's not good. But I've just become more accustomed to eating a plate of mashed potatoes and corn. And if you're waiting for the answer to, does this taste good cold? I, Scott, I know it's not been in the fridge, but. No, but it's, it, been, it's, it's been out here for about 45 minutes. For it being simmered down, it's, I think it's still good. It's got an inch, it's still got, it's got that tofurky aftertaste that I'm used to. But it, I think it's still good. I think this would be fine on a, on a sandwich. Slice it up for salmon, for lunch meat. Cause yeah. we were not big fans of so vegan, vegan lunch meat. meat. So I, I definitely, I def to answer that question from mom, from last, from last taste test, it is good. It is good cold. Okay. Or at least. And the dogs love it. Yeah. They, they've been sitting here right beside us the whole time. That's why Wednesday keeps trying to get up here because she wants some of the, the ham. So. But I think it's been a good mo uh, Monday mukbang. I, we've kind of been a little bit here, a little bit there. We kind of give them more of an update of, on, on the motive and the kind of sort of thing we're heading towards. Um, with these videos and um, so yeah this has been Monday Mukbang if you like the video hit the like button below hit the subscribe button to be updated on videos coming out hit the notification button on when they do come out as we've said as we said in this video we have videos almost every week every Monday Tuesday and Wednesday and Wednesday mm -hmm. um, so it's not our dog if, day the week. <laughs> so if you're interested in, in watching any of the, those videos and you're new hit the subscribe and notification button or go through our older videos to see them um type in the comments uh any anything you really want to say on what we've said today your interest I'd in like food i'd like to hear what your motives were of going vegan because yeah. not every, i mean most people are not raised vegan most vegans are not raised vegan most vegans are converted to vegan from a typical standard American diet. So, you know, I'd love to hear what your motives were for going vegan. Um, we've gotten several questions about the ethical purposes or the ethical reasons, and we are aware of the ethical reasons. Um, that's that's not something we haven't explored. We love our puppy dogs so much, yes. so much. Um, I've been really, I've been watching a YouTube channel here recently called Hope for Paws and they're an animal rescue and it is an awesome channel if you've never checked it out uh it, it, it it's so encouraging i really like that channel a lot but anyhow um uh, yeah let us know what your motives were if you feel comfortable sharing so it, if you've been here since the beginning um there are some of you that have been here almost as long as we have so we are so thankful for you as well very much so. You keep coming back and watching this. And if there's one, if there, if you can comment below one defining factor that has changed over the course of the last mm -hmm. two years, if you've been with us, state that comment, whether it be... Neil got long hair. Long, my long hairedness, or my father on his interest in the videos, whether uh, it be my mother, my... Or how much bigger Wednesday got. Or that too. Or how, or or, how, or how we've incorporated our dogs more and more into these videos mm -hmm. because we love them and we can't finish our own food. So this has been Omni Z Vegan. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye.